Hello, welcome to Laura's View and Tara too. I'm really glad you're here. Today's date is Wednesday, August 10th, 2022. And in yesterday's video, we talked about the FBI. And I mentioned that the US Marshal Service may be a better um, branch of law enforcement to be used in the future. And it seemed like an ideal time to do some reading about that with the tarot cards. So we're gonna do that tonight. But first, would you indulge me in just a little bit of a rabbit trail and part of it's informative. I wanted to make sure I was comfortable with what the US Marshals do. So I checked and they escort prisoners. They help with um, witness protection. Uh, they also can do other law enforcement duties of federal nature if they're asked. And then on their website where they have press releases, this is what I checked and what I referenced yesterday when I said that they do seem on a regular basis to still be doing some really nice things. For example, um, on August 1st, they arrested a child molester. On August 1st, also, a Mississippi teen was found that had been uh, abducted and the abductor was apprehended. And then murder suspects are kept, murder suspects have been captured, fugitives arrested. And um, that's just the more recent news just in the last 10 days, okay? So like I said, they do seem to be giving value with their service. And um, I've been, feeling positive about them, but I thought, let's check with the cards. Now, one other thing to notice. When um, Mr. Biden fell off his bike a few weeks ago, look who was guarding him. I say this for the benefit of the amusement of those that are awake and the benefit of those that are just starting the process because I get a mix of those here on my channel. So U.S. Marshals, were guarding 46. Doesn't the Secret Service protect our uh, chief executive officer? Think about that for a minute. And it's too bad they weren't on hand March 19th of 21 when Mr. 46 fell three times going up these stairs. Now, again, this is uh, for the amusement of those that are awake. And um, just a little push towards that uh, cognitive dissonance, dissonance barrier for those that are waking up. I have always felt like the reason there were those three ludicrous pratfalls there going up the stairs is look here, this is supposed to be Air Force One. Doesn't our chief executive officer fly in Air Force One? I think he fell so that people would notice he was flying in an only partially, partially painted plane. Hmm. Anyway, so that's the end of that little rabbit trail and amusing. I find that very amusing. And I don't know if you picked up on that. That, by the way, that, that uh, was a screenshot from um, a YouTube video of him falling up the stairs. So you can check it out for yourself. But look, the plane's not even fully painted. Hmm. And U.S. Marshals, guard and protect him. Hmm. Something to think about, isn't it? Okay, so those U.S. Marshals do perform valuable services. And they do so, um, they have actually, they are a legislated um, enforcement branch. The Judiciary Act of 1789 established our U.S. Marshals. So they weren't just uh, written in with a uh, executive order. They actually uh, are, are legally a branch of law enforcement. So something interesting to know about that. And then of course, you know, there've been some really famous US Marshals. Frederick Douglass, the freed slave and abol abolitionist. He was one of the US Marshals for Washington DC. And uh, we've all heard of Wyatt Earp. <laughs> Anyway, so let's ask the cards. We're going to use a similar format to what we had last night. We're going to have three cards showing the current status of the U.S. Marshal Service, the near future, and then extended future. Two years or more, we'll let the, uh, the universe decide how far that extension goes. 
Okay, just like we did last night. And let's see how this, uh, what the outlook is for them um, with the changes happening, hopefully very, very soon in our world. Our first card is the Ten of Cups. Six of Swords, Nine of Pentacles. And we have the Eight of Cups, Ace of Swords, Queen of Wands. Extended Future, we have Temperance, Four of Swords, Ace of Cups. Let's talk about those cards. Our present card for the U.S. Marshal Service was the Ten of Cups, which is a card of celebration. Tens usually mean a fulfillment of something. And this card shows all different ages celebrating and happy. So they are doing some good work for our country in the present. In fact, they're one of the more reliable law enforcement agencies available to the American people. This card always indicates somebody taking the responsibility to get someone to, to a, a better place in safety. And, you know, they transport prisoners and they work with witness protection. So that makes perfect sense. The Knight of Pentacles is another card kind of confirming what they're doing presently. Very stable energy, reliable, dependable, does not back down, but doesn't rush in. And uh, so good energy for the present for them. Now in the near future, we've got the Eight of Cups, which shows a turning point because this guy's literally turning away and uh, seeking something. Where It's not too worrisome. If you look, it's it's got the Ace of swords on this side. Couldn't be better aspected if it tried. The ace of swords is a justice card and a success card. So even if uh, there's some turning points coming up for them, they're not bad ones. The queen of wands is also giving us a little more information. She's a very optimistic energy and uh, um, very, very fair. So if they do have some changes coming up, up on them in the near future, it's not going, they're not going to be huge or horrible. Now their extended future, we have the temperance card. And I think that's showing us again, it's a that's a moderation card that there may be their need, the need for their services as our world changes may be less, slightly less. If there are some changes that we well thought out, well thought out, and we're told again not to worry, we've got the Ace of Cups on this side, and the Ace of Cups, beautiful card, beautiful card to have, helping that out. It's a card of love, and um, again, they don't get better than Aces. So let's see if the universe has a little more information for our U.S. Marshals. Okay, we got the uh, Three of Swords. And the Three of Swords is a card. Sometimes it shows that there's some secrets, some falsehoods that, that have to be dealt with. I don't know if that's going to be um, rumors and uh, things like that, or maybe individual agents that uh, maybe have actions called into question, or maybe other agencies that are jealous of their good prospects might try to cause them a little bit of trouble. But again, it's not going to be major. Look at this. We have one, two, three of four aces showing up for them. So yeah, yeah, my intuition was telling me that the U.S. Marshals are doing some good work for us that may, may have a place in our future. And it looks like that's the case. So beautiful read for U.S. Marshals. Now, I don't care if you're U.S. Marshals or any of the other branches of law enforcement. FBI, NSA, one of our military branches, local law enforcement, state police, 
if you are trying to do your job and uphold the law and your oath of office and doing so with integrity and honesty, I, I pray that you're safe and filtered through the changes coming and um, especially from having to deal with those above and below you and sometimes beside you who aren't working with honor and integrity. So stand your ground, okay? Good does pay off. It really does. It's hard sometimes, but it does pay off. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for joining me. Your time is precious. I try not to waste it, and I do appreciate it. And remember, let's take those few minutes every day to be thankful and to picture the world we want and make it happen, okay? For law enforcement, to, uh, for us to have less need for them, okay? For teachers to teach themselves out of a job because children become self-learners. For families to be healthy and happy and have time to enjoy one another and bond and be very strong. For all the good things we want in our world, let's take a few minutes and just uh, make it happen in our thoughts because our thoughts create our reality. Thank you so much. Good night.